and COVID-20. COVID still want another win to help them climb up the table and for the Thesby, sorry, for the Turf Burners, they have the chance tonight to go top of the table, but they will need a 12-goal swing tonight. They will need 12 goals tonight in this game if they want to go top. That is what their aim is tonight, to try and take top position off the GW Zoo, their rival junior team. <clears throat> Not long to go though. Turf Burners are still our top ranked and rated team. They are undefeated. They are they have played 9-1-9. Nine, nine. If they can do it tonight it'll be 10 for 10. And then they'll have one game left, which or in a which if they win will guarantee them top spot. Um, and will give them an easier route through the playoffs as they will play their our bottom four bottom four playoff winner. Who will claim the last spot in the playoffs, the last eighth position spot in the playoffs? So we have approximately three minutes to kick off. If the turf runners don't score soon, COVID could get an early start on them. I say we are awaiting the presence of the turf burners. Here we go. It's starting to come. And we're ready. And we are about to kick off with the turf burners. Top rated team taking on our second bottom team. It doesn't bode well for them, but let's see if COVID can pull off a miracle. Would be a miracle, a rocket league miracle tonight, but maybe they can. They have survived longer than they did against Thespians. But that ball is just looking to be put away. And it will be Kyler Penska picks in. 1 0. Kyler, the classy bird, gets goal number one. They need a little more to take top spot tonight. And we're off again. I do not think that the Tough Bun is going to be employing the tactics that the Azerbeans did in their last game against COVID. I think they will be all out attack. contain two of our all-star team that took on and successfully beat William Annan and there we have Thomas Anderson mode seven getting number two for the top corners. Ten goals left to get to claim that top spot. They are closing in on it. I don't know if GWZ are watching but they're coming for your top spot GWZ.
score for a while. But that's going to be it. Number three, Daniel Stein gets the play. OG thank you, Rain. So that's one of the things I admire about the Chuck is they don't have one superstar player. All three players are strong. They're more of a team than some of the other teams. They have two really strong players. Thomas is actually really strong as well. But they aren't a team with a superstar that we rely on. It's, a team, it's really much a team performance. And there we go, number four. So that is... They are on their way to the goals they need. Yes. Chuck on our half. That's going to be five. Kyler again, although I think I have a feeling that Covid may have knocked that in themselves. Kyler hits his shot, but the Vinsky Pizza directed it into his own net, unfortunately. are chasing that 12 goals and they are almost halfway there. And there's six. Slinky Rain with the goal. At this rate they'll get the 12 goals in the first game. Respect the work ethic of Turf Runners, so even though they knew this was a bottom ranked team they were playing, they were practicing before the match. And they have a good work ethic, they don't take anything wine, they don't take anything um, casually, they take every game seriously. Covid though will really need to try and just get their stuff together because this could get embarrassing. Um, we have seen Covid before fall apart, they did not fall apart against the Esbians, which is good to see, they really kept their shape. And they actually made it tighter in games two and three. I'd like to see see that again, but it's going to be harder as the tough runners are probably our strongest team. They are starting to look like they're going to go top tonight, and it's going to be highly unlikely they will, they will let that go. for number seven. I would put my money on Kyler putting this away and he has. Just the finishing is just great to see. They don't miss easy chances like that. Covid really do need to have a more defensive performance here. I'm not sure what has happened to Yubinsky keeps it all, he seems to be doing nothing, which is not good. It's not what we need. Covered some good if we get a goal against the top team in the league. It'll be really nice to see. Very hard though, but it'll be nice to see. Then 
nine seconds left. Can they stop at nine? No, they can't. No! It's going to be nine nothing to the burners. Thomas Anderson, although I think Daniel stole that goal of Thomas there. That was definitely Thomas's goal. And so could I would have definitely been that to Thomas and not to Daniel. So with three goals left, they need to take that top spot. I have to say it's looking lightly. Ian delaying the restart. And we're about to get going. Get the early goal from Thomas Anderson. Thomas Anderson really having the game of his life tonight. There we go! Oh! Custom celebration that by Daniel. I like it a lot. It's like Vane and he's got spot celebration. This is a chance for Kobe. Come on, Kobe, don't miss this. Let's do this. Come on. Oh, he's waiting to be hit. Oh. We need to see a goal from the Kobe 20. Just one goal is all we want. Here's another chance. Come on. But. Tough burners are ruthless in their pursuit of the victory they need. And they score again with Daniel Stein. And they now have the goals they need. This is why the top corners are our top team. Whether they will win the championship in the playoffs is another story, but I think in terms of the best team performances, the best teamwork, they are the team to beat. GWs do have Matthew Butts, probably the strongest individual player in the tournament. 
So, and they do also have two other good players. Look, Bell especially is really good as well. So, if that is the final, which I expect it will be, it will be an interesting clash against an all over, an all a team that is really just a really good team with every player strong against a team with a superstar. They will come out in top. Tonight, it looks like the top runners are going to come out in top though, and score enough goals to take the top spot with a game to spare. Final game that they are really unlikely to lose, and even if they did now, this probably is enough to guarantee them the top spot, even if they somehow lost their last game. One minute remaining and they make it seven. A powerful display by the turf burners, putting beyond any doubt that they will go top tonight. Say big blow, but I'm glad to see they're putting up a fight still. It might seem like a slaughter, but this is our best team. They are capable of doing this too. And that could be a goal! Well done! Back is on, maybe not, but it's good to see them getting a goal. Oh, that just got tough corners angry. Yeah, they just angered the giant. Poked the bear, some might say, and the bear responded.
COVID are delaying here, not hitting ready. I don't know if they're having, I don't really know if they have a tactic to stop this. I can't quite see what they can do at this point against the all conquering tough burners. I really, yeah, I just don't know if there's anything they can do. Okay, we're off. This should be the final game of tonight as the Turf Burners look to dominate COVID and make it a 3-0 win. The Turf Burners, as I keep saying, are top rated team right now. But they do have GW Zoo waiting in the waiting in the side. And there we go, Daniel Stein making it 2-0. I see GW Zoo waiting in the wings. They did lose the game to Tough Burners in this tournament, but they did not have the strongest lineup that night. Um, so we still don't know what would happen if they face each team faces each other with the strongest lineups. Nice take it by COVID. Can they equalise? Or oh, sorry, not equalise. They get them back. Nice, nice one. Great goal. We actually see a fight back from COVID tonight. It would be a real shock, but you never know. I think it's highly unlikely, but you never know. Never know. And Kyla makes it 3-1 and puts the game to bed, you've got to think. It's a great play by Kyla, they're just getting the height on and taking it over the keeper. 
any team will be quaking at the thought of facing the turf bangers. Just their timing is immense, their aerial play is immense. Defensively they're strong too. And there we go, that was before Thomas Anderson. Maybe one of the unsung players and the uh, top runners team that's showing his class there. They're basically ahead of, they're ahead of the car. Take top spot tonight, that is beyond a reasonable doubt now. And there we go, they're now just ramming their advantage home. The COVID really should have cleared that one. I do like Daniel's celebration. Daniel actually one of our top three in our all-star team for Porto Guys. He brings a bit of stability to the to, to the Yonk and and then a few bots who are kind of our superstar players, but Daniel is just as important part of that all-star team. Kyler also next in line as our main substitute for that team as well, also very strong, but he's more similar, I think, to Matthew and Zach. And I think Daniel brings good balance to the team. But he also has good score, and I think he scored more goals tonight than Kyler. Could be another one. Yep. There we go, Thomas Anderson puts that way to make it 7 1. There's an emphatic victory tonight. Emphatic. I could see them getting 10 here if they don't take the foot off the gas. Something that we've only had a couple of times before in our league. We've had a 10 nothing before. I don't think we've had 11. And the Sheep aren't scored 11 against the Sims. That's probably our biggest up to now. Gonna be it. Daniel again. I think they could reach 10 here. We need 11 to tie the top, the record in a, in a single game though. 12 to take the record. Good stay by COVID. They have signs every now and again that they are a good team. They have touches of class every now and again. They just don't put it together enough. That's a good save. That's a good save. Well done. Keeping that score down. And this would be too. Oh, they just 
overrun that that should have been two. Here we go. And they make it. I think that's gonna finish eight one. Twenty-five to two in goals. And the victory goes and and the lead at the top of the table also comes to the turf burners. Well done the turf burners. Turf burners now move to the top of the table. COVID stay in tenth place. Some good match up tonight. Um, we have no more live games now till next Friday night. Next Friday we have Thesbians against Quarantine. We have Brox Boys against COVID. And then on Sunday we have the last two games of the league before we go to playoffs, which is Turf Burners against Quarantine. The chance for Turf Burners just to finish off the league with 11 for 11 record with no defeats. That is looking likely. Um, and then the game, that the final game of the league, which actually is still important. Brox Boys needing a win against Pro Rat to go third. Pro Rat needing a win to go sixth. So that one is important. Anyway, that's all for night, guys. I'll see you next Friday. I hope you